Hi there. Uh, my name is Lynn. Um, I work for the Cumberland Library and I've done a couple of cooking segments and I'm going to do another one for you right now. Um, this one is quesadillas, which um, I didn't even know how to spell that initially. I'm like, huh, I'm trying to find something new to cook. Maybe I'll make quesadillas. I don't even know how and I don't know how to spell them. But I found a recipe and I've kind of played around with it and made it my own and you can do the same. I'm going to show you the method and you can put whatever you want in it. The beauty of the quesadilla is whatever you, well not whatever you want I mean within reason obviously but whatever you put in it it needs to be cooked so what I did was I went to the market and I got a rotisserie chicken and then I shredded it up so mine's gonna be chicken um, you could do beef strips you could saute those um, you don't have to have meat in it at all you can just have a veggie some spinach um, peppers roasted red peppers onions whatever um, it's it's more of a method again um, I like things that are adaptable that I can kind of like you know I have this in the fridge let me throw that together because if I you know I don't like a recipe where like I don't have some of the stuff I can't make it you know I like things that I can um, improvise with so and this is one of those things so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm actually I'm using these um, tortillas I guess they're I don't know what they're called these things um, <laughs> they are these particular ones are carb wise I don't know why I wasn't counting my carbs but this is what I grabbed you want to make sure that they're gonna fit in your pan I have a cast iron pan which is great for this it doesn't have to be it can be non-stick whatever you don't want to use a regular I really should be a non-stick but you want to make sure that these guys because they do come really big and also, you're going to flip them and you don't want one of those big huge ones because that will flip and just make a mess and as it is, this can be a little bit messy. So, and that's really the, the hardest part, it's not even really that hard, but it's probably the fussiest part about this whole recipe is flipping it without having everything fly out. And the key to that is lots and lots and lots of cheese because it glues everything together inside and when you flip it, everything kind of stays. So. But the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get everything cooked. My rotisserie chicken is already cooked. You can use leftover meat if you have it. Um, I thought it was easy to just grab a rotisserie chicken, but again, needs to be cooked, obviously, because it's not gonna cook inside the quesadilla. It's just gonna warm through. And speaking of warming through, if you're not sure, so you gotta make these one at a time, and if you're serving your family, you don't want some cooling off and serving cold to some people. So what you wanna do is put your oven on, like 200 225 and that way as you make them you can stick them in the oven and keep them warm and then serve them all together so someone's not getting a cold one while everyone else is getting a, a hot one all right so again starting with red peppers my other recipe red peppers i love red peppers they're really good for you and um they add a great flavor easy to cook um better for you than oranges even with vitamin c um, everybody stuck in quarantine, we're all thinking about our health, try and stay healthy, what can we do to be healthier. Um, you know, this has cheese in it, it's got a flour tortilla. Is it unhealthy? No. If you're watching your carbs, it's, it's probably not for you. They do make those tortillas though in, they have spinach versions, they have, um, you really can't see what I'm doing. Here we go. No need to see my face. Um, they have red which i'm guessing is tomato i don't know i've never bought those but they have spinach version and they have the flour they have wheat too so it's probably a little healthier i grabbed these you know because i was running around the market and there they were so um i'm not going to dice these i want them in little, little strips not too huge because you know you don't want big hunks of of um pepper you know sort of sort of bite size i guess I'm gonna saute them down. I usually put onion. Um, I'm only really using three ingredients besides the cheese. is the chicken, the pepper, that's ready. It's the loudest stove on earth. And I'm using green onion. Which I'm gonna use the whites. And then if you wanted to garnish later, you could use the, the green part. Because usually the, the white part is the part you cook. And the green part is for garnish usually but it's you know it's good it's usually like what you would use raw so I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna because this is um, 
a cast iron. Just going to kind of coat the pan. And then to make my to saute, I'm going to I'm going to use the oil. But after when I when I make the quesadilla itself, I'm going to use butter. Don't have a heart attack. It's you know you can just use a little. It's really all about browning the outside of that flour tortilla. Um, so let's get that going and get some salt on there. I'm gonna cut the the whites off of these scallions. I already washed them. Wash everything ahead of time. And so when I say whites, okay, I mean it's the white is just way down here, but. It's really kind of just, once it starts to split into this green part, so uh, most of it's green, but this is what we're going to use. Get that out of there. And you certainly could use the green part. It's, it's a nice mild onion flavor if you don't like a lot of onion. You can serve this with french fries or chips. Salad. These are rolling all over the place. <laughs> all right, let's get these in there. Put that on high, probably too high. And you know, it might be a little hit or miss in the beginning when you're, you know, first doing this to see how much veggie do I need, how much chicken do I need. But it depends on, you know, your family. Do they like vegetables? Do they want a lot of vegetables? Would they prefer more of the meat? Um, you could even just make cheese quesadillas and, you know, just load them up with cheese. Um, if you make them spicy, which, so, you know, you think quesadillas, Mexican food, you think spicy food. I am not a spicy food person. I don't like it and it doesn't like me. It doesn't like my, my tummy doesn't like it and so I don't eat it. Um, I know a lot of people like spicy food. And so, obviously, put jalapenos in here if you want, spice it up red pepper flakes, whatever, you know, whatever you want. You put some pepper. That's a little spicy, not really, but, you know, make believe. So we're going to let that saute down. Um, and really, you know what, I'm going to throw a little bit more in there. As I was saying, I think I got sidetracked, um, hearing, you know, how much vegetable to make, you know, how many quesadillas am I making, how much am I putting in each one. A little bit of experimentation, but you know, you just you're really just gonna put a little bit on each quesadilla, so you don't need a ton of veggies. You want to get those peppers cooked down pretty well, though, because you don't want them all softening them a bit. All right, I'm gonna pause you for a second. I'm gonna let those cook down, and I'm gonna get everything ready to go. We'll get the quesadillas going, and then we'll be eating. Hello, I'm back. All right, I finished sauteing the vegetables till they were, you know, tender, but not like mushy or anything, right? Um, I actually threw some red onion on top of that because I had it and I didn't feel like the, um, the green onion was really enough for what I'm making. Um, this will probably make four quesadillas, three or four. Um, I can eat one, he eats two, so that's, that's plenty. So now is the assembly part and this is pretty quick and easy and then I'll just toss them in the oven to keep them warm until he gets home. He's an EMT, I never know when he's going to get home. So it's always kind of a crapshoot when I'm cooking dinner and like slowing it down, speeding it up, like where are you? Um, so um, so this is, it's good that you can kind of throw it in the oven and keep it warm. Or you know, these kids are sitting at the table, you know, just feed them individually. Just, you know, his, yours is ready, whatever. It's kind of like pancakes, you know. Um, they're ready one at a time basically all right so the first thing we're gonna do is this is the part where people are like ah butter it ain't gonna kill you all right I'm gonna butter that pan real good because this is where what's gonna make your quesadilla is nice and crispy and yummy and golden brown Turn that up. You don't want it like screaming because the butter will just burn and then it'll just be like yuck. All right, so I'm going to plop down your first tortilla right on top of the butter and cheese. Where'd my cheese go? There it is. Let's get that cheese on there. Any kind of cheese you want. If you're making it spicy, use a Mexican blend or pepper jack, Monterey jack. This is just cheddar. 
And this is the glue. It's going to hold that whole thing together when you flip it. So you need that glue and you need it to get on there and melt. Get that going. A little bit of bubbling. Not burning. Not high. All right. Let's throw some chicken on there. At this point, you could, you know, you got the chicken on, you could slather some, some hot sauce on top of there. This chicken is still kind of warm, so you don't want it to be like right out of the fridge, freezing cold. If you, if it is cold, if it's left over, then you want to warm it up, maybe toss it in with your veggies to, to get it warm. And you can kind of just eyeball how much you want. Load it up or whatever. Turn it up just a little and get the veggies on there. As many or as little as you want. Spread them out. Now this is where like if you're feeding your kids they might be like ah vegetables. Load it up with cheese they won't notice. You can kind of see that it's popping up a little bit. I'm going to show you. I'll bring you over there. Hold on. Got greasy hands. Okay where are we going here? What's the matter with me? There. Bubbling away. Getting crispy. So, all right, and, when, and more cheese because you got to glue the top down. We're going to put a top on it. We got to glue the top down. So, otherwise, everything's going to go flying and end up not in a good place. I'm going to butter this one because I want this one to be golden when I flip it. You don't have to use butter if you don't want to. You can use margarine, you can use nothing. You can put a little oil on it, that'd probably be okay too. All right, let's take a peek underneath and see if it's ready to flip. Oh yeah, all right. Get ready, get ready. Woohoo! That wasn't too messy. Always, some always comes out the side. You're gonna move your stove later. You're gonna find the veggies over there. That always happens. But look at how beautiful, crispy brown that came out. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right. Let that finish cooking. I have it on medium. I don't have it screaming hot because it's just gonna burn. And the inside will. The cheese is getting all melty. And the inside will get will warm up, um, you know, even though the chicken was a little bit on the cool side, it'll all warm up. And again, I'm going to stick it in the oven on a cookie sheet that is for some reason wet. All right. And just waiting for that to brown. Get all, it gets crispy. It's so delicious. And, you know, it's kind of like a sandwich in a way. You know, it might be something you would prefer to eat for lunch because it's not, you know, but if you're looking for a light dinner, it was pretty easy and quick. Again, a little messy because, you know, this is all melty cheese, but it's one pan, so one pan cleanup. All right, let's check underneath. Let's see how we're going. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a little stuck. Turn it off. Grab my trusty elbow. All right. And that's going right onto the hello, right onto the pan to go into the oven. And you can make, you know, keep going. Just keep going with that. You can customize them too. That's what's great about it. So if somebody wants something spicy and somebody doesn't, you can make it simple. Somebody doesn't want meat. Somebody doesn't want veggies. Somebody doesn't want cheese. You can customize it. Make it any way you want. Um, you can see everything's all melted. That's the glue that holds everything together for when you flip it. If you don't put cheese in it and you flip that sucker, it is going whew, everywhere. You're just going to be left with a mess instead of a quesadilla. Um, if you make it spicy, so what we end up doing is we cut it into um, into quarters. And then if you make it spicy, you can serve it with a little sour cream, maybe a little sour cream and chives. Dip it in there to cool it down if you like it spicy. Again, I don't. Um, and I don't often cook a lot of spicy stuff, so... My husband is free to throw sriracha on it if he wants, or hot sauce, or whatever he wants to do. This is very customizable. Like I said, beef, chicken, no meat, whatever you want to do. And quick and easy. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon.